Spokane, Washington. An urban concrete jungle home to just over 200,000 people. It's a city centered around forestry, agriculture, and manufacturing. Little do most residents know, just in the northern outskirts of their city lies the Cattail Zoological Park, the only big cat sanctuary in the Pacific Northwest. Cattails has been home to many different species of big cats since its opening. We were approached to take in rescue cats because of our experience and one thing led to another and that was 27 years ago. There were a lot of privately owned animals and so there was people who had leopards and uh, lions and tigers and bobcats and servals and caracals and jaguars all basically in their backyards and until they started passing laws then those animals were either confiscated or given up willingly to us and we were one of the few places in the United States that would take big cats and give them forever homes. Cattails isn't just a zoological park. Their main mission is to provide big cats with forever homes. Each cat that comes to stay has its own unique background. Apache, their resident puma, has lived at Cattails for seven years. In his first month, they know something was wrong with his tail. Upon further inspection, they realized his tail had frostbite and that the best course for his health was to amputate it. He has not let this slow him down. Tuga is currently the largest tiger at Cattails. His parents are Samson and Delilah, a breeding pair that was rescued from being bred illegally. Tigger, Zorro, and Nala came to Cattails from being a roadside photo booth attraction. As cubs, they all lived together, but they were separated upon reaching maturity. Nolan, one of the white tigers, came to Cattails as a part of an exchange program with their sister park in California. Over the past 27 years, big cats have come and gone at Cattails. One of their most famous residents was a lion named Zamba. When we were contacted about taking Zamba in, they said he was a really large lion, and we thought, okay, yeah, everybody says that. Well, we went down to see him, and it's like, wow, he was a really big lion. When we moved him up here, they had um, given us a list of all of the work that he had done. So we know that he was one of the MGM lions. <laughs> At the beginning of film, he'd done NBC's Noah, Noah's Ark um, and also a Right Guard commercial with Brett Favre. A part of having big cats at the park is the daily care that goes into their well-being. Specially trained zookeepers cater to the cats every need. So at Cattails, basically in my job, I handle medications, um, the food preparation and feeding of the animals, as well as the cleaning of the exhibits. Everybody is a part of that and the cleaning of our own areas and basically just comes down to food and health and cleaning basically. We also feed them a very strict diet here so we monitor their weight very closely. We're checking on them every day and so we can adjust the amount of food that they get so that way we can make sure that they don't get overweight um, because of course that can mean all different sorts of health problems for our animals. In order for cattails to provide such an excellent level of care to their cats, it requires two things a highly trained staff, and a lot of money. So our budget is around $300,000 a year, and that's just to buy the food. We feed almost 500 pounds of meat a day to the cats. We rely on public funding to survive. Oftentimes people think, well, we're just a roadside zoo and we're in it for the money, and actually we're in it for the animals. Animal care is our priority the public, that's secondary, but we have to be open to be able to take care of the animals and to be open to the public, so it's a circle. Cattails has a prestigious in-house zookeeper training program. Zookeepers, such as Savannah, go through rigorous training to provide the best possible level of care for the cats. The zookeeper program started over 20 years ago and we've had about 400 students come through in 20 years and there's huge demand for qualified zookeepers so it's something that we 
continue with. We've had a few students that have done internships in Africa, South America, uh, Central America, and um, in Asia. So internationally, they're placed and they come to us internationally also. Cattail Zookeeper graduates are world renowned. So renowned that when Seyfried and Ray retired from their show, they sought out Cattail Zookeeper graduates to provide their cats with the best possible care. They were interested in possibly hiring some of our graduates, and so we sent a female down there, which Roy had never hired any females, and he was very pleased with it. And ever since then, they will contact us for graduates before they will put an ad out. And there are quite a few places that are like that um, throughout the world. Uh, there's more call for our graduates than we have students. It's a great field and there's really good jobs out there. Cat Tills is committed to providing the best care and enrichment they can for their cats. They're known all over the zookeeping world for their outstanding graduates and their unwavering drive for the well-being of their animals. The park has housed everything from Hollywood royalty to animals that needed specialized medical care. It's almost unbelievable a place like this is nestled between a railroad track and a highway in the Pacific Northwest.